If you haven't been living under a rock, you might have watched the first half of Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. The first half was pretty peak, I'm not even going to lie to you, but the second half puts us to shame. The first half had us watching the journey of Gojo and Geto as teenagers. As the first half wraps up, we see Gojo become the strongest sorcerer and we see Geto become Frieza. But we're back in the present now with the Shibuya incident and in this arc it's literally non-stop suspense, action and reveals. First off, we finally figure out who the traitor in Jujutsu High is. Throughout season 1, it was a plot point about who the mole in JJK was. There was a mole that we knew was feeding Geto and the bad guys information, but no one knew who it was. Well, in this season, we finally figure out who the person is, and believe me when I say, it's not who you expect. We get to see Mahito again, and his dynamic with Yuji hits a crazy new level. At this point in time, in the Shibuya arc, they perfectly mirror each other as complete opposites. And this arc sets up Mahito to be the best villain in JJK, at least for right now. We see Yuji at easily his lowest point in the series. Then when you combine it with all the crazy shit we see in the world of JJK, bro, it's literally peak. But you know what else is peak? Subscribe to see a domain, liking the video, and hitting that bell notification. Then we get to see the Go Satori Gojo himself in his bag. Throughout the show, we've gotten little bits and pieces of Gojo being that guy. We saw him against Toji. We saw him early on in season one when he used purple. We've been slowly seeing Gojo be in his bag, but this is the first time that we see a full powered Gojo go insane. And this shit was nutty, I can't even lie to you. We're gonna have to see that as well in the Shibuya arc. This half of the season shakes up the status quo of JJK forever, like nothing will ever be the same again. This is the season where boys become men. In season one, we had episodes where Yuji and the gang were having fun. They were just chilling and it was really a lot less of a serious tone, but season 2 is different. You better be prepared for bodies to hit the floor. In this season, some of the most fan favorite JJK characters, well they're gonna die, so like just be prepared for that as well. Characters like Megumi, Yuji, and Nobara, they gotta step up. No more being protected by your OGs, like these niggas have to actually have to fight. Another thing that Shibuya has in store that's going to be amazing is the character development. I talked a little bit about Yuji and Mahito and how we're going to slowly see their characters kind of evolve and be really, really amazing, but it's not just them. We also get development on Megumi and Obara. Megumi specifically gets to meet a special someone, and believe me when I say, you're not going to believe who it is. In my last JDK hype video, I spoke about how we finally start seeing why Gojo has so much respect and faith in Megumi. And I told you that I low-key wasn't a believer in Megumi. He had done some cool stuff. He had an incomplete domain expansion. That shit was cute. He wasn't moving me. I gotta be honest. He wasn't moving me. Well, in this season, the nigga moves me a little bit. Megumi has a lot of cool stuff he does in this arc. Specifically, we get to see a new ability from Megumi that can make or break the JJK verse. That's not even hyperbole either. I'm not even capping for the video. Literally, Pete has a new technique that we're gonna see in Shibuya that is so powerful that it has importance in the current manga three arcs later. So this shit is not cap. Megumi, he's gonna evolve. Like we're gonna see more of his character. He's gonna get stronger, all that stuff. Honestly, just looking at Shibuya, the scale of the characters and villains just increase. Prior to this point, being a grade one sorcerer was a big deal. A Toto, he's a grade one sorcerer. He was seen as very, very, not godly, but he was that nigga. Like he was very, very powerful. Nanami, he was a strong ass nigga. And even though at the beginning of Shibuya, the grade one sorcerer tag is still size, it's still an important thing. In Shibuya, that shit is cute. You're not getting very far as just a grade one sorcerer. If you're not a special grade sorcerer, just sit this one out, or it could get very shisty for you. But speaking of special grades, we finally get to learn more about Geto, because I've been always talking about this on my JJK videos. We all watch JJK Zero. That nigga Geto's supposed to be dead. Gojo killed him. And you probably wondered why is Geto just walking around free? He's chilling. He's alive. Like, why is that happening? In this arc, they're gonna explain why that is. And we're gonna realize some crazy ass shit. Then there's Sakuna, you know what I'm saying? King of the Curses. I'm not gonna spoil too much about him because I want y'all to be surprised, but I'm gonna just tell y'all right now, this nigga's not gonna be chilling in this arc. Sukuna is gonna be in his bag. Some niggas, for some reason, decided, you know, this arc is cool, but it's not lit enough. You know what this arc could use? The King of Curses. Let's go get the nigga some fingers. I'm not gonna tell y'all the amount of fingers he gets, but just know that nigga Sukuna awakens and starts tearing shit up, literally. Adding Sukuna to the mess that is Shibuya is literally insane. The best way to describe the Shibuya arc to me is Murphy's Law. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. You literally are going to be on the edge of your seat the entire time. And lastly, the fights. This is a battle shonen. The battles, they have to go crazy. And don't worry, bro. Shibuya, it's going to go crazy. Shibuya has by far the best fights in JJK, at least up to this point. Honestly, 
Should we have some of the best fights in, in current anime, but we only leave it out low, you know what I'm saying? One thing I do love about Shibuya is that not only is it crazy new fights and stuff like that, we get a bunch of new thing. Shibuya has a bunch of new characters in it. Uh, because of that, we see a lot of new curse techniques. We see Black Flash again. That was cool seeing that again. We get to see new domain expansions. And we even get a new technique called Domain Amplification, which adds to the power system of JJK. If you want to know what Domain Amplification is, it's basically a counter for curse techniques and domain expansion. So it's just a lot of stuff. Honestly, Shibuya overall, it's just a boiling pot of crazy ass events happening at the same time with non-stop action it's a lot of cool a uh, bunch of cool new stuff we got coming up with shibuya so don't miss out because it's gonna be worth it don't forget to subscribe obviously like i already said before so yeah don't miss out on shibuya because it's gonna be a peak the last two things i recommend to y'all have been peaks so you know what i'm saying i'm gonna go three for three in this bitch so, but let me know what y'all think about the video but i'm out so peace